Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. From Meteor Crater Rest Area. Arizona. Man. Ugh. It's been a boring drive. And it's been hot. <laughs> it's been hot. It's been hot. This was what I was talking about. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we When uh, we needed to fix air conditioner vents. I know. Oh, uh, it's so miserable back there. He's been back there sleeping while I was driving. I took over, gosh, what, at noon, I think it was. It's like 5 o'clock. No, it's almost, it's almost seven o'clock <laughs> central time right now. Then you woke up just a little bit ago. I stopped. I'm here going to back to bed after yeah. she gets going. Yeah, I stopped here to do my thirty. Yeah, and yeah. figured we'd do a clip because we didn't do one when we did our driver swap nope. this afternoon. No, nope. he was tired. He was ready to go yeah, to bed. Yeah, I was. I was there. <laughs> but we are only like a little over 500 miles. 540. Yep. Yeah, we've. All, I called the contact of where we're delivering earlier. They know we're coming, so. Yeah, we should be there first thing in the morning. A load came across, I called on, but they had already got it covered. It would have been a nice load for over the weekend, but yeah, yeah. what Going do you to do? Texas. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that would have been nice. Yeah. But eh, we'll see what happens. Have you looked to see how many trucks are gonna be in Southern California? I haven't, and I hadn't even looked at the load board to see if there's anything. I want the weekend off so we can do the air conditioner event. No, San Diego to. wouldn't be a bad spot to do it either. I know. I did check the KOA in San Diego to see if they had any spots for over the weekend, but they're booked. I'll have to look again, see maybe if they had any cancellations. Yeah, or, yeah. Or anything like that. That would be perfect. Plug yeah. up to shore power and be able to run the rooftop while we're working on it. Yeah, absolutely. Because yeah. we're going to have to lift the bed, lower the bed, lift the bed, lower the bed. All. Of... Yeah, it's going to be a fun project. It's going to be a finagle. Yeah. <laughs> I just fed the babies That's their dinner. Probably why I've been putting it off so much. Look how he's in back there. He looks so cute. Now I'm dreading I didn't put it off. <laughs> it's hot. I know. Oh my gosh. Don't he look so cute? Oh, Y'all probably can't see him back there, but yeah. he's like right in between the pillow and the blanket, right in the middle of the bed. <laughs> he's just, yeah. He's like looking at us like, okay. Yeah, look at me. I'm, I'm, I'm fancy. I got a full belly now. I got the whole bed to myself. Now I got to let him O-U-T. Yeah. And the hot ground oh, sticker birds. I, I, I like this rest area though. I wonder if they've got their additional parking. Uh, you should back take them open. over there and watch out for snakes. Oh, yeah. I know. Actually, I don't think snakes come out when it's hot, right? They usually hide under things because it's too hot for them. Oh, really? They come out like when it's cooler at night? Yeah, they come out at cooler at night. Yeah, you know, let us but know watch in the out, comments. Watch out for coyotes and. <laughs> I know they got that. The whole, uh, oh, they even got scorpion on the sign. Scorpion? Yeah, scorpion oh, and a snake. <laughs> yeah. Um, we always worry about that. Yeah, you know? I we mean, try we, to keep an eye on Yeah, them. we keep an eye on them, make sure they're not walking where they're not supposed to. And Tyson, he's the scary one. He likes to go in this deep, <sighs> the deepest, tallest Gosh. grass he can get in. I'm like, boy. I know. Unless he just really has to go. Yeah, he likes to wander and find the, uh, yeah, he's a kook. Yeah, but it is going to be beautiful weather in San Diego that, tomorrow. I haven't even looked at it's it It's always yet. beautiful in San Diego. That's true. Sucking down all my tea. tea. What do you mean? This is my tea. <laughs> I shared it with you. Oh, is that it? By default, does it become your tea? Yes. Okay. Your tea is my tea. My <laughs> tea is my tea. Her tea is her tea. My tea is her That's tea. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to make me another cup of coffee, let these babies out, finish up this break, and you go lay down. I think I'll have, gosh, I only had like an hour and a half before I had to take my break, so. Uh, you should still have a little bit of sunlight to get going down the 17. That's always yeah, a pretty drive. Yeah. It's not something we go down quite often, but. Yeah, yeah we'll be, we're on the I-40 right now. <coughs> Cut down the 17 into Phoenix. So. Cool. We'll catch up with y'all manana. <laughs>
helps to have the it helps have the vent blowing the, on you. <laughs> vent blowing the right way. It was like warm in the wall. Oh my gosh. Well happy Saturday. Happy you guys. Saturday. Man, we didn't do any club yesterday after we got delivered, so let's get you caught up on what's been going on yeah. since yesterday. <laughs> since Thursday, what was our last clip? We got delivered yesterday morning. That was pretty quick and easy. Well, I say quick. It was took a hour or so but it was pretty easy they were really nice there yeah yeah beautiful and, uh, san diego after we got delivered we went to the rest area by camp pendleton so jason could get some sleep catch a little nap she didn't let me sleep long <laughs> well well what happened is we so we we got a call actually and we got a load that picks up monday yep so we found an rv park because we're like hey man let's try to find an rv park and i found one that was yeah. like 14 miles from where we're picking up we're yeah. picking up near yeah. la yeah. Well, city of industry yeah that would have been perfect and jason called he got us that they had an opening for the weekend they and asked what kind of rig we had i told him it was like a toter oh, a toy hauler toy hauler he didn't go into a lot of detail I that didn't. was the first I didn't. mistake i didn't <laughs> By the time he took a nap, we were like, well, let's get the truck washed. We don't we don't like showing up to RV parks with the truck looking filthy. Yes. So yeah. we stopped at uh, Little Sisters. And Which is a horrible truck stop, by the way, let me add. Truck wash. Truck wash. Tr truck stop. It's also a truck stop. Oh, yeah, it is. In Fontana. In Fontana. We, I've heard so many good things about them. And so I decided, I'm like, well, hey, they're Little Sisters. I've heard great, great stuff about them. Let's go get washed there. They did a horrible job. I had to have the guy come out after we pulled out of the bay, come forward, and he had to bring the brush out and do the rims better because they were just filthy. I still had brake dust on them. I'm like, yeah. come on now, there guys. There was quite a few spots too, like the so, little kitchen window where they didn't get on the outside. For all you, it told me Little Sisters was awesome. <sighs> This is our second time trying it too. The first time was at the Barstow. At Barstow. It was horrible. And it didn't. They didn't do a good job then. And what sucks is they take a long time to do it too. Yeah, they take like an hour, and I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> so I don't know. I know some people probably love them. We've yeah. the two times we've used them, we have not had good experience. And that's that's the thing too with everything. Yeah. Some people will have good experience. Experience. Others will have bad and. We had a bad one. So yeah, Okay, so we times. got the truck all nice and shiny. <laughs> yeah, so we get to the RV park. Oh, gosh, it was almost, well, almost 6.30, 6 o'clock probably. 6, 6.30, yeah. And got, we, they have a little <coughs> security gate you check in Guard at. Back, yeah. And uh, so they let us in. We went to our spot. We got plugged up. And not five minutes, the security guard comes by. Yeah, I'm like, oh, crap. <laughs> I think they're here for us. Yeah. She gets out of her car, comes, walks over, and said they don't allow them type of rigs. Well, she was. At, she said they had us down as a travel trailer, and I'm like, I'm like, no, no, we didn't I never, say travel trailer. And she's yeah, like, well, I said toy hauler. Well, what kind of rig is this? A class A? A class A? And we're like, well, it's a, uh, it's like a class A motor. I mean, it's the size of a class A. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's like a big toy hauler. Yeah. And, yeah. She's like, well, yeah, we're unfortunately. And then they asked about the RVIA sticker, which we don't have, which if you don't know, it's a certification they put on RVs. It's a sticker RV association thing. So we have some that somebody, somebody sent, sent us. us some, like a year ago. Yeah, but we just never put them we on. We didn't put them on our old truck. We knew we were getting the new truck, so we we're holding off and we just hadn't put them on this one yet. I don't know if that would have helped. Yeah, I don't know. So she was like, well, she's like, yeah, we don't allow your rig, you know, and it, and I know it's a city thing here in the LA County. Um, that, that RV park was actually in San Dimas, but, um, so she's like, well, we, we can let you stay tonight, but tomorrow morning you're going to have to go. So we're like, golly. And Jason this morning even called to talk to the manager. Well, I called her last night and tried to bribe her, you know. <laughs> I, I was going to offer like 50 bucks to kind of overlook us for the weekend, but she said she couldn't. It came from her boss that we had to go, but we could talk to him today. And we tried talking with him today and yeah, no go. No go. I mean, I think if it would have been up to him, he probably would have let us, but it's like they're, the first mistake is probably because it was a, called an RV resort. We, yes. The resort ones, when they have yes. resort on the name, yes. it was a beautiful RV park. Yeah. But I'm telling you, there was RVs there that were older than dirt that looked trashy. I mean, our truck looked better Heisenberg than the RVs. RVs. I'm telling you. It's, that's just. I'm telling you, full timer, ragged out looking. Yeah. You, trashy stairs built off their rv and 
junk all around the <laughs> RV. I'm like, yeah. I mean, that's that's discriminatory. I think California is the mo the place that we've oh we've had the most issue with trying to they find are. the RV park. And I know a lot of truck. other of you guys have too. Yeah. But. So where do we come? Our least favorite place, Petro in Ontario. But man, it is dead here you guys there we are the only expediter truck up front we are the only expediter it's all bobtails up front i just went inside to check in while jason was showering there was nobody in the store i mean there are like so many spots up here and usually it well is you know packed. these guys are all parked here and they take off for the weekend oh yeah there's only a few guys on their trucks the rest of them there ain't nobody in the truck yeah but yeah. even so i mean usually it is that there is no spots i mean there's quite a few spots open and again we're here, the only expediter some, uh... at least the only expediter truck up front maybe there's some in the back i don't know but yeah we're the only one here even inside i was uh talking to the the lady when i was getting our pass because you got to get a park Parking pass and uh, I was like man it's dead in here and she's like yeah it's been like it's like that every weekend now here and I'm like dang that's crazy COVID yeah that's what she said it's from it's COVID yeah so looks like we have to spend our weekend here <laughs> yeah but I, right. like I told Jason like because I always try to see the positive I said well at least the positive is they didn't kick us out last night at 6 30 in the evening when they're probably wouldn't have been anywhere to park here. I mean, we probably could have found a oh, spot no. in the back. Oh no, slow as it is, or, we probably could yeah, have found something. Yeah, not seeing it now, but yeah. we did get to stay last night. We got to empty the pot. We got to top our water off. Yeah, showered. Heather shower, showered there, topped the water off. I showered here. Yeah, because Jason, we uh, we got a new <clears throat> air filter. We needed to change that out, and he wanted to do all that before he showered. We did that. Um, talked to some fellow expediters this morning that shared some information about uh, improving the air i don't know if that's air intake or air outtake like if it's exhaust it blows hot air out of the engine compartment or if it brings cool air in on the engine i think it brings cool air in because that's what engine fans do so okay so yeah we improved the airflow into the apu yeah, uh, which that we did, film, did a video so that'll, be coming out. that'll be coming out um yeah dreaded Ontario I know. It's, it's hot I, I just didn't want to run the generator all weekend for one it's just always nice to be plugged into shore power and not have to run the loud generator but it is what it is you know those things happen out here nothing always goes as planned like I said at least they let us stay the one night why California got to be so discriminative I know <laughs> I could see Aren't, we had they're a, like the most liberal state and yet they're so discriminated <laughs> you know it's crazy when we were things pulling, they don't understand or like or when we were pulling in to get to our RV spot there was another there was another box truck parked there granted it wasn't one they had a sleeper it was probably just a delivery truck that was there because they did have an full-time person but, that lived there like, well, our truck's a lot nicer than that i know i know say. i don't get it i don't understand it and we're totally self-contained so. so we weigh the same as, as some of these big lavish rv buses we're probably a little bit less because we're empty in the rear. True. They got full blown built out RVs on them, which usually weigh, I think up to like 45, 50,000 pounds. So we're lighter than that. So it's not a weight issue. Um, it's not a size issue. It's not a size issue. We fit in the spot yeah. fine. They just hate, hate truckers. I California guess. hates truckers, they I'm telling do. you. <laughs> they do. But wah, wah, oh well, we're still gonna make the best of it. We. You know, I, I want to always when we're in Ontario, there's a Hooters across the freeway Hooters. and I always love having Hooters. So she I, likes the food. I like the boobs, <laughs> the food and the boobs, <laughs> the food and the boobs. <laughs> I'm going to have to call and see if they even have dine in. I don't know. California is weird right now with that. Some places do, some don't. Like a lot of them, I think you have to wear a mask to your seat or. Well, when we were home in Texas, we were having to do that at the Not restaurant. at all restaurants. It was just some, just most, some. Yeah. But I don't know. Let's see what we get into this weekend. Yeah. Cool. Happy Sunday fun day. 
from our favorite truck stop in the whole world. Man, I will have to say this time here has been better than every other time because there's hardly anybody here. <laughs> uh, Petro Ontario, by the way. Yeah. It, it was funny, Heather went into the store yesterday and said, oh yeah, it's been like this for a couple months now. And they're probably thinking it's because of the coronavirus. I'm like, yeah, no, the pilot flying J that opened up down the road. We're yeah, we still in some of your business, T.A. Petro. <laughs> we need to check that out. Yeah, we do need to go J. to that one next time, yeah. check it out. But yeah. I bet you that's why it's so empty here. Thank yeah. Oh, so. no, because it's really, yeah, crazy. Like, we were the only <coughs> expediters here. and This used to be the cool hangout for expediters, too. Yeah, well, oh, it would be full of expediters up front in the front parking lot, mm -hmm. and then they got new management here, and they were like, well, yeah, let's start charging up there, too. Yeah. Which, I, I get it. It's They're in the business to make money, and if they can charge for it, they're going to do it. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, I want to check out the pilot. Yeah, we need Is to it a, it's, it's a, a flying, flying J. J. Flying J. I, I'm curious to know if they have an RV dump there. RV dump. Yeah. Bin, yeah. It's so new, it doesn't even show it on Google Maps. Yeah. Like, it has... Yeah. Uh, it says it's there, but you can't see a view of the building or parking lot or anything. It's yeah, still like yeah, an, an empty, yeah. empty place. But man, we had a fun um, afternoon. Yeah, one of our longtime Long followers, time. Joe cool Man. Dude. He lives in near LA. Yep. And we were like, man, we need to get, see if he's here because he does um, like. She sells like what classic car parts? Yeah, classic like car that, parts, bumpers, things like that. Yeah, different like swap meets and stuff. And we didn't know if he'd be here. And Jason texted him and he came and met up with us. And Took, we went and had Hooters. Yep, and yep, yep. It was so nice getting to finally meet him and visit with him. It was, it was. It's, it's been a long time coming. It was nice meeting you, Joe, in person. Yes, absolutely. Really cool guy. We, yeah. we love him. Hope to do it again soon. Yeah. Oh, thanks for, to Frank for uh, paying for dinner, too. Yeah, yeah, Frank and Steph were here. Stephanie was sleeping. Yeah, but, but uh, Frank, Frank went and had yeah, dinner Frank with us. Yeah, Frank went and had, so. and yeah, yeah, so it was good seeing them, too. So we... Pick We're going to keep tomorrow. this one short. We yeah. got a low picking yeah. up tomorrow. We are doing this clip here so we can finish up the vlogs and videos that we got coming out this next week. Yeah. And I did a, a modification to our Comfort Pro that a lot of people with Comfort Pros may be interested in. Yeah. It, it's still really hot out. And this modification will help your generator run smoother, qui uh, not quieter, because these things are no. not quiet <laughs> not at quieter. all. But it will help it run cooler. Yeah. Yeah. That's so it, stay tuned for that. It'll be out Friday. I don't know if that. It'll probably be out the next Friday. Cause do it this Friday, because that's that a really thing. good one. Okay. And then the next Friday is your steak video. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna hold off on the Wagyu steak, because I think this Comfort Pro video is something a lot of people will could use. Yeah. So, okay. Absolutely. Well, that one will be out Friday. So you guys have to wait another week to see me cooking part of the twelve hundred dollars steak. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. On the grill. Our first time cooking. Our was, first one cooking. Well, it yeah. turned out really good. Our but. second one didn't turn out as good as the first one, but the first one, I think, I think different salt. I want to get a more coarse sea salt to use, but uh, we're rambling. All we're right. out. Well, we're gonna close this one up, guys. Stay tuned. Like I said, in the next vlog, we'll be picking up a load out of here, and you'll find all about it in that vlog. Cool. The next vlog. Cool. But thank you guys, as always, for watching and subscribing. Until our next video. Peace, love, and expedite. Look, at, she's trying to get. She's get, trying to she's get. She's like, get me in this frame. Hey, where are, are the you, stars what here? What is your deal, hey, girl? Hey, hey, this is my vlog, not your guys's. Where? Nobody wants to and see the, you. And little guy, he's back here just resting. He's like, oh. nobody wants to see you guys. Everybody wants to see me. Where's I'm my just camera tired. time? I'm just Hi, Where's my camera time? <laughs> I need more camera time. You, you guys are hogging time. it up all. You need more camera time. I know. I don't think they were in this vlog very much. No. But, oh, well, here they are. <laughs> or at least right. this one. The other one's sleeping. <laughs>